I'm going to show you four amazing text animations. So first of all, we're going to create a very simple pop-up text animation. Let's start by opening the effects panel. From here, go to titles and drag text plus onto your timeline in the edit page. Now let's move to the fusion page. Here you can see we already have two nodes, the text node and the media out node. For now, just keep the right viewer window open so you can clearly see what you're doing. Now go to the text box on the right side and type your text. I'm going to write pop up here. Next, let's change the font. You can choose any font you like, but for this example, I'll use the default one, Sego script. Now click on the color box and change the text color. I'll pick this color here and hit OK. After that, go to the shading section. Click on element 2 and enable it. Now increase the thickness a little. I'll zoom in the viewer so we can see the text clearly. Now change the outline color to black. And as you can see, our text already looks much better. Now to create the pop-up animation, let's add a transform node. Go to the right side and in the transform settings, reduce the size like this. Now add a keyframe here. Move the playhead to around 10 frames and increase the size to something like this. Now play it and see. We already have a simple animation. To make this look more like a real pop-up effect, go to the spline editor, check transform, click fit to zoom, and select both keyframes. Now press S on your keyboard and smooth the animation just like this. Let's play it again and preview the final result. And that's it. Our smooth and easy pop-up text animation is ready. Now let's move on to the highlight marker text effect. Here we have an image of an article page. First, drag this image onto your edit timeline. Now right-click on the clip and choose Create New Fusion Clip. After that, move to the Fusion panel and we're ready to start working on the effect. Select the Media In node and add a Transform node to it. Go to the Transform settings on the right side and scale the size so the text lines become clearly visible. Something like this works perfectly. Now use the Y value to adjust the position so everything sits nicely in the frame. Next, add a background node and connect it with the transform node, like this. Now add a rectangle mask and connect it to the blue output of the background node. On the right side, go to the rectangle controls and reduce the level so you can still see the text lines underneath. Now in the viewer window, place the mask on any line you want to highlight. I'll zoom in the viewer so it's easier to position everything. Adjust the width and position of the mask until it perfectly covers one line. As you can see, the mask is now sitting nicely on the text. Now bring the level back to maximum. Select the background node and change its color. I'll choose a yellow color here and hit OK. Next, select the merge node and on the right side change the apply mode to darken. And now you can see, the line is highlighted with a yellow marker effect. Let's animate the highlight. To animate this, add another rectangle mask and connect it to the merge node. Now in the viewer window, Adjust the width and position of this mask on top of the yellow highlight, just like we did before. Move the playhead to the very start. Now using center X, push the mask to the left side until the yellow highlight disappears. Add keyframes on X and Y. Now move the playhead to around 20 frames, and bring the mask back to its original position using the X value. Let's play it and check. And yes, our cool highlight text effect is ready but let's make it even smoother. Select the second rectangle node and go to the spline editor. Check rectangle, click fit to zoom. Select all keyframes and press S to smooth the animation. Now turn off the spline editor. And as you can see, we now have a smooth and easy highlight effect. If you want to highlight more lines, it's even easier. Select rectangle one and background, copy them and paste them. Now connect the new background node with the previous merge node like this. Move the mask and background highlight to your second line. Select Merge 2 and change the Apply mode to Multiply. Now add a new rectangle mask and connect it to Merge 2. In the viewer window, adjust the width and position on top of the second line. Move the playhead to 20 frames and push the mask to the left side using Center X, just like we did for the first highlight. Add keyframes on Center X and Y. Now move the playhead to 35 frames and bring the mask back to its original position. Go to the spline editor again and smooth the animation the same way. Turn off the spline editor. Now select the background node and change its color. 
You can choose any color you like. I'll go with this one here and hit OK. Let me show you the final preview. And now, our magically masked highlight text effect is ready. Now let's move on to the glitch text effect. Drag a text plus node onto your timeline. Now right click on the text layer and change its duration. I'll set the duration to 2 seconds. Next, move to the fusion panel. Go to the text box on the right side and type your text. For this example, I'll write glitch effect. Now let's change the font. I'll go with impact. Add a little bit of tracking to the text so the letters have some space between them. Now add a transform node. Move the playhead to the very beginning. In the transform settings, use the Y axis to push the text slightly downward and add a keyframe. Now move the playhead to around 5 frames and set the Y value back to the default 0.5. If you play it now, you'll see a simple animation added to the text. Now to create the glitch look, select the text node and go to the shading section at the top right. Here, set the opacity to zero and add a keyframe. Move the playhead two frames forward and set the opacity to 100%. Move the playhead two frames forward again and reduce the opacity to about 50%. Then again, move two frames forward and set the opacity back to 100%. Now just keep repeating this process. Every one or two frames, switch the opacity between half and full. I'll do this a little faster here, but you can take your time. This flickering is what gives us that nice glitch effect. Once you're done, go to the spline editor to smooth everything. Enable the text layer. Click fit to zoom. Select all the keyframes and press S to smooth them. Now turn off the spline editor. Now play it and see. Our glitch text effect is ready. Now let's move on to the split text animation. First, we'll create a new fusion composition. I'll name this composition Split Text. Now click Create and drag this composition onto your edit timeline. Next, move to the fusion panel. Here we only have one node, the Media Out node. Now drag a text node and connect it to the Media Out node. Go to the text box and type DaVinci. Now select the font. I'll choose Impact. Increase the text size. You can choose any size you like, this totally depends on you. Now add a background node and connect it to the text node. After that, add a rectangle node and connect it to the background. In the viewer window, adjust the rectangle mask height so it covers the text nicely. Now select the merge node. Go to the operator section on the right and set it to in. Select the background node again. From the background settings, change the type to gradient. Now in the viewer, adjust the gradient so it sits nicely over the text. Change the bottom color of the gradient. Click the color box and choose any color you like. I'll go with this one and hit OK. Now adjust the top white color a little. I'll make it slightly darker. That looks good, hit OK. Now we'll create another text just like this. Select all these nodes, make a little space in the fusion timeline, and paste them there. Now connect this setup to the previous background. Select the text node. Go to the text box and type, Resolve. In the viewer, drag this text downward. You'll see the text disappears. Don't worry. Now select the rectangle node and move it down onto the second text. And see, the second text appears again. Now let's make the second text slightly smaller. Select the text node, go to the inspector and reduce the size a little, like this. Select the background node and adjust the gradient so it sits nicely on the second text. Now let's animate both texts. Select the first text node. Move the playhead to the very beginning. Go to layout. And using the center Y value, push the text downward. Add keyframes on both center X and Y. Now move the playhead to about 50 frames and bring the text back to its original position. Now select the second text node. Move the playhead to 50 frames. Go to layout. And push the text upward using the Y axis. Add a keyframe. Now move the playhead to 70 frames and bring the text back to its original position. Now play it. It already looks cool. To make it even smoother and faster, turn on the spline editor. Select the first text node. Click fit to zoom. Press S and smooth the animation like this. Now select the second text node and smooth it the same way. 
and our cool split text animation is ready. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed learning these four text animations. And now you feel more confident using Fusion for your own projects. If this video helped you, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.